Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I'm David Mathis and I want to thank you guys for tuning in and for all the support you've been giving me uh, and the channel. Please like, subscribe, share, hit that little notification button so you know when new content comes out because I am pumping out videos regularly. Today's segment of Ask the Coach comes from a question I got over Instagram. The question was, why am I gaining weight during a reverse diet? Now, I get this question a lot and I think there's a lot of misconception out there because so many people do see um, that they actually start losing weight as they start adding calories back in, okay? This is an outlier, all right? This is not the norm. There are a good number of people that do that, but there's very cer uh, special circumstances when that takes place. And to be honest, most of the people that do end up seeing weight loss come uh, off as they start adding calories back in come from two reasons. Number one, their metabolism was way, way more adapted um, than we had anticipated, right? And number two is they, they might not have even been tracking regularly or accurately before, I'm sorry. But for the majority of people out there, you're not going to lose weight by adding calories back in. What we hope to do with a reverse diet though is kind of keep your weight stable. There's gonna be a little fluctuation here and there, but that doesn't always mean it's gonna come from fat, all right? For my clients to start off with, we usually set about a one to 2% calorie increase per week based on their weight gain, okay? Um, this is just a starting point. There's no blueprint, there's no black and white, this is how you do it and go about a reverse diet. But what I do tell them is, we are going to probably see some weight gain, all right? And that's okay. Not all weight gain means that it's fat gain. Weight gain is actually pretty good for your body. Um, as we start increasing calories, a lot of them are probably gonna come from carbohydrates, okay? For every gram of carbohydrate you take in, your body stores about 2.7 grams of water. So right there is automatic more body weight, or, or body weight, right? Um, the other thing is just store glycogen in your muscles, which is a good thing. The, the water and the movement, all of that flushes it straight into your muscles, right? It accepts it into your muscles. Um, so this is good. This is all good. Weight gain does not have to equal negativity, right? Doing things like taking measurements, taking body fat measurements with calipers every week, um, getting a tape measure and taking different waist, uh, different measurements on different body parts. This will all help you um, understand that not all of the weight that's being gained is fat, all right? Also, don't forget, as we're increasing calories, that gives your body more nutrients to build new muscle tissue. Muscle tissue weighs something, right? So just going back to this question, it's probably something you've had a question about yourself. Uh, maybe you've been afraid to ask. Maybe you have asked and you just haven't gotten a lot of for sure answers out of it. I'm here to tell you that it's okay if you gain a little bit of weight during a reverse diet. There are outliers that are going to lose weight, but it's not gonna be the norm and you should not go in expecting it. If you're staying consistent 100% with your macros, with your training, with your cardio, and you're doing this week in and week out, and you're going at a slow enough rate, whether by yourself or you reach out to someone like me or a, a very educated coach that can help guide you through this process, you're going to be fine. You're gonna get your um, metabolism built back up to a good place. You're gonna get your maintenance calories back up to a good place so that when you do wanna start an effective fat loss phase, it's going to be very efficient at that point, okay? You wanna start your fat loss on as high a calories as possible, and your body is going to be in a position to do that if you go through a very, very planned out, strategic, step-by-step -step approach to your reverse diet, okay? Just don't be afraid of gaining weight. It might happen. Um, it's probably going to happen, but not all weight gain is bad. Thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Ask the Coach. If you guys have any questions you want me to answer, um, you can reach out to me at Mathis Fitness on Instagram. Uh, you can leave them in the comments section below. I'm taking this segment of my channel is all about taking questions directly from clients or uh, people who follow me on social media and answering the questions that you guys want answered. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit that notification button, and I'll be back with another video soon.